Hey peeps, Amy here with Amy's Hoop Circle and I have another friend here from the Wilds Protocol Seminar. I met Kana last year and we um, have been connected ever since and uh, I started talking to her because she has a really interesting story but first let's, because everybody does, um, but hey let's start with hi. Hi. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for joining well, me today. I'm excited that we're both here. I am so excited we're both here. And your journey to the Wells Protocol Seminar. I hooped my way here, and she went through like trains, planes, trains, and automobiles to get here because she Speeding came. tickets, not me, <laughs> not, not her. Um, a hailstorm, uh, late airplanes, and you name it, people we had at different it. airports. So yeah, it was quite the uh, journey just to get here. So we're bo we're both really happy to be here. But um, Kate had said something to me that was really interesting. And when when I when I when I want to share stories, I think it's because I want to give people hope. And your story is such a story of hope because she said something that like made my brain go, what? What did she just say? And she, I think she said it in passing. I'm not sure where I heard that, but um, I think you were talking about your lowest point. So that's really where your lowest point and then you went from, so we were talking about this yesterday. So, I, you know, Kate has MS. You were diagnosed when? Um, I was diagnosed in the end of 2004, 2005, somewhere in there. I'm not actually sure. Sure. I understand. I, you know what? Like, I'm not one of those people that gets super attracted. So it was before Katrina, and that's kind of how I, like, because okay. the, the right. next summer I'm like, yeah, they don't know what they're talking about. I mm. went and did missions work in inner city Louisiana mm. Mm. in 115 degree and wow. humidity because I'm wow. like, oh, well, if I have MS, this is going to make it horrible, and it didn't, but... Um, uh, yeah, but so, that's yeah. kind of how I like, okay, that it came in with Katrina. <laughs> okay, so yeah, there you go. Um, so then, you know, fast forward, it was 2017 when I met you, but she had said this story about laying in bed, take it from there, because I'm pretty sure there are a lot of other people who've been at a point of despair. And, and I guess it hit me the way it did just because, you know, my story is one of, you know, disease and recovery and all of that but I didn't have that that point and I feel really blessed that that you know my instant my worst instance was you know walking with a cane and whatnot but I, I didn't have that point of real despair and I think people need to know they can come out of despair so that's why, that's why oh, I'm yeah. talking to you so yeah. tell me okay. tell us a little so, bit about that so I, I had about a year solid that I had just solid progression I never stopped flaring I just was very intense. I was having to use a wheelchair if I left the house and actually ended up spending about a month bed bound that I like, wow. I, I fell whenever I tried to get out of bed. It was just, it was, it was wow. awful. Um, I didn't have any of my abdominals, so I couldn't sit up on my own. I also left my, lost my left hand side to the point to where like my arm would get lost underneath of me while I was sleeping or when I was laying down wow. and I couldn't feel it. So it was completely, completely gone. And I like, I remember laying there and just begging my husband, just put a pillow over my head and be done. Like, I, I don't want to do this. Just, just cover my face. Like, yeah. And obviously he wouldn't. And I wasn't obviously really joking. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't really joking. <laughs> it was like that, like, I yeah, it was at that point. I sense that. And she, we're laughing a little and he, obviously your yeah, husband didn't do that. Yeah, it's humor. But and he, and he really wouldn't, he, he, he couldn't, I don't know that he could pull the plug if he had to, but. Yeah. I really wanted them to. <laughs> but you were, the, the point is that that's where she was mentally, emotionally, physically just strained. So, so, you know, I heard her say that and then I'm sitting across from her at a table watching her laugh and be funny and I'm watching her walk across the room. So I'm thinking, tell me more about your story. So tell me about that point and, and you told some really caring, loving, deep, you know, stuff about your family, what they did for you. How did you get from there to the Walls Protocol last year? Well, um, lots of different, lots of different stuff. Um, you know, when she's talking about like my family caring for me, you know, my, I, my son was like, th th that year was like 16, 17 years old and he had to help carry me. And, uh, but uh, my whole family came together. My, my husband who never cooked at all in Whoa. our marriage. Um, and then he started cook cooking. A little bit. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. He, he cooks about half the time now, which is okay, uh, pretty awesome. amazing. But, um, my both both my kids were teenagers at the time um that stuff got really bad and they didn't really know before that we just kind of we, we knew i had ms but we just mm. kept it to me and sure, sure. we didn't we didn't share it with anybody but but my mom came over and cooked meals and 
my husband, you know, took care of things and my, you know, my kids stepped up amazing and our whole house went walls um, mm -hmm. as we knew it. Um, mm -hmm. Now the book wasn't out yet. So we knew. It was all based on the TED Talk. We knew. Yeah. So, so what the TED Talk said, and then she said paleo. So I followed paleo yeah, yeah. and that, okay. that, that really changed things dramatically. And I did so well. Um, I actually had almost, I would say 90% healing um, wow. and did so well. And then um, I kind of let, we moved, mm. which um, I sold my business. I had, I had had a hair salon before. Oh, I, okay. And so, you know, whenever I felt anything, it's mm. like I was trying to do mm. some hair and like, it was just this nightmare of mm. things that I should have let go sooner. Sure. It's really um, hard to but, let and go. And obviously, you know, that couple months, like the couple months that were really bad, I didn't do anything. I mean, that, right. and that, so after that I was done. And, right. um, so, you know, I sold my business, we moved, both my kids graduated and moved out of the house and onto their new adventures. And, um, wow. I'm just I adventures. was not taking care of myself. I wasn't following the protocol. Lots um, of change. Change is sometimes. Change is hard. Wow, so and stress and change. And yeah, not eating and then my you go food. back to kind of whatever brought you comfort before. Yeah. And I didn't eat. I still was gluten free. I still was dairy free, but I wasn't eating what I was supposed to. And you know, so that's really, but that's, but that is the only flare that I've had. Um, that left me with a little walking disability. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So, so better. yeah, yeah. So, so she talks about that, but what did you do last year? Um, in 2017, I went and climbed, um, Kilimanjaro to Gilman's Peak, which is what? Eight, 18,552 feet. All right. That's yes. outstanding. Yes. I have no clue, but she knows these are the and things so, that, that, I'm sure conventional medicine didn't offer you. No, and so my neurologist, I would have to say, was a great neurologist. He really said, I don't, I don't know that these drugs do anything. Well. He said that, and that yeah. was like, and it, but when things got so bad, he's like, oh, we can't not throw things at this. And, you know. It, it's, it's, it's how they were trained. Right, it's how right? they were trained. And, um, you throw know, things at this. Right, yeah. and that's exactly what I want. We're going to start throwing things at Let's this. Let's see what was, works. I was just at this conference, and, you know, we talked about this new drug, and it's been having some good success, and I think we should try it. And, you know, and, of course, you can't try it until you've been on all the other drugs. Right. You have to stop right. at the base. Because you that have was to start at the basement. Right. And right. I was right. like, well, I don't want to do that. And that, that, unfortunately, it's like all of it happened at kind of the same time and I found the TED talk and and I haven't looked back okay and so she, I was telling her I said well how did you find this and she's like well I was laying in bed and pretty much all I could do was research so yeah, she researched yeah. you know mm -hmm. and and that's kind of I remember sleepless nights just researching for information so so what was your very first instance of I'm feeling better do you remember was there like that moment where you were laying in bed and then your family was fixing you good food and and you it was were like, like it was pretty it was pretty amazing the recovery that I had from that point um you know just things started coming back um you yeah. know feeling and movement movement started coming back more and there, yeah. was, there was some of it that took a really long time to come back it didn't yeah. come back overnight but and well, there's still there's a lot that's still that's still there right. when sure. I, it's like, you know, things that I don't like my hands, yes. which were my work <laughs> doing hair. Yeah. yeah. Um, they've been numb since, you know, 2005, like those <laughs> things, like I, that just is what it is. It's sure, like, you can't, sure. but I don't really consider that a disability. Like I can't feel them, but they work. I will, right. I'll go with that. <laughs> I'll go with that. <laughs> I'll go with that. But yeah. One of the biggest things that I think has become um, kind of a mantra is that how you're feeling today yeah. is not where you're going to live tomorrow. Okay. So that, you know, that, that space that's yeah. so hard to be in, that's so horrible, that's so overwhelming, so hopeless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not always going to feel like that. Right. Even if some of that disability stays, you are not going to always feel that hopelessness that 
you know, your life has value yeah. in whatever stage. We have some amazing warriors that are around here. We that do. Are in their wheelchairs and, you know, even some tilt recline wheelchairs. And um, their life has value. Absolutely, absolutely. And I had, I had someone, Cynthia, I did a video with her. She walks up and she says, I can't walk, but I can hoop. And she is, you know, she puts her walker aside and she's like hooping like crazy. And I think it's really neat when um, you hear other people's stories and really it's that inspiration, the hope. And in this community, sharing the inspiration, the hope, the joy of the life that we have and the gifts that we have and what we can do right. is really There's so pretty. There's so many people here that didn't think that they would be able to make it here. Uh, and there are also people here that... And they did it by themselves. Yeah, yeah, right? They came yeah. by themselves. But there's also people here who, like, notably didn't want to come. They had kind of a push from home. <laughs> and uh, I've met a couple people like that. I, and then they're here and they're like, man, I'm really? so glad I came. And with this, this is life-changing. And it's not so much the knowledge that you're learning. I mean, there's there's a lot. And it's my yes, head's ready to yes, explode. Yes. There's so much that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But, the community aspect, being around right. people that right. not only understand your MS and right. where you're at with that, but also understand your lifestyle change struggles. And yes. Your, yes. And so we're just all this really big family. And, yes. Um, you know, I have, yeah. I have a couple of people from last year's seminar that I talk to every mm -hmm. day. Mm -hmm. All yeah, day long. That's great. That's great, all day long. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I talk to them more than my husband, and I work and live with him. <laughs> You know, but it's really important to, um, and I, I, there's been a few times where the heat got to me this summer, yeah. and that doesn't usually happen to me, and when it did, um, I was around family, and, you know, I was working on a project, and somebody said, well, come on, let's go, we'll just get these in, and we'll be, like, in the water, and I'm thinking, and I didn't want to say it, but I'm thinking, I physically cannot move faster. No. And, and I was mad because I physically could not move faster. I was mad it was bothering me. And then, you know, I you know, ever did it. I didn't listen to my body, which is really important. And then I got mad at myself. Good idea, right? Um, but then I come to this community and there's people that, that you know, they just, they understand the struggles. They get it. They, they understand. And, you know, it's like a great big hug. It is, it is. And I, I don't think anger, a little bit of anger, is a bad thing. I think yeah. you can use okay. that, and that can be a driver. Yeah, that, well, like, like, it did, it drove me that day. It like, did, a it drove far. you, and, and not so, yeah, I'm not Okay, over. that's all right, we're so excited here. Right? Ah! <laughs> um, but I think, you know, I, I think sad is not okay. You yeah. know, to be, to be sad there. about your circumstance, and to be stuck in that sadness, and you know, hopelessness, that, that's, that's not okay. That, that needs to be worked on. That needs yeah. to, you need to find community. To work yeah. On yeah. But, but there was one good, uh, Robin said something on the opening night where she said, okay, I'll give myself time to be sad. I can't be sad yeah, all the time, some morning time, but I'm going to, I'm going to give myself a certain amount of time to like, you know, if I'm having a bad day to just have a pity party for 10 minutes yeah. and then, then I'm done, then I'm done. So, you know, but I really want to thank you for sharing your story because you went from, from, being in a bed, making the comment that, you know, I just wish I could put a pillow over my face and be done because she said to me, I didn't, I didn't think this was quality of life. And then to be researching and find some answers and then, you know, we've met. So I'm so glad, you know, that pillow was nowhere near your right? face. Right? Oh gosh, me but too. Then, but then you, and we're laughing and joking, but there's some real heart in that, you know, heartfelt sadness and glad that it's gone. But, but. But if you happen to be out there and you just happen to be on, you know, catch this, there's hope. There really is. And food is magical. Absolutely magical. Definitely. And, and this, this kid, we're going to hoop together. So I'll have that at the end of this. <laughs> oh, we're going to go over there and find two hoops. It, and It's not as pretty as what she No, we're going to do it. We're just going to do it. It'll take like two minutes because okay. I always hoop out at the end of my videos. Yes. And I, I'll merge it. We'll okay. get up and move, but I'll merge it. All right. I'll put some music on. Okay. Perfect. Music makes it all better. Nice. It looks awesome with music. Okay. So, <laughs> hey, thanks for joining us. We're coming to you from the Wells Protocol Seminar in um, Cedar Rapids, Iowa. And if you're a person out there who might be interested, happens every year. First week in August, come on out and join us. It's a great place to be. A lot it, of answers. It's definitely worth it. And good food. Yeah, good food, right? Food's tasty. Food's tasty. She knows. She's like I'm eating all, all day long. <laughs> all day long. All right. Hey, thanks, peeps. Bye.
there oh, okay. actually. So I'm just going to try to make my hair do something. Okay. It's everywhere. You know Go what? crazy hair. You know what will happen if I take this out? We'll do the same I thing. I have that. <laughs> okay. I have a longer, like, I have a longer version of that. I can do this. I'll do it like that. I think I'll go for the halfway look. Mm -hmm. So it's not all pulled back. Because otherwise the sun's here and it make, makes it look kind of like a, like a gray halo. Okay. So we're testing right now. Okay. So I might as well.